Let's follow the path of Dusty's Trail, oh Dusty's Trail, Dusty's Trail. A stage and a wagon are heading west, part of a wagon train lost from the rest. Dusty's the reason for their plight, thanks to Dusty, nothing's right. Only the wagon master's hand keeps them a rolling to the promised land. All oh, the going gets mighty rough, but they don't seem to mind. It's California, A, that's the place they must find. Deserts and rocks are in their way, but they won't stop, come what may. Mountains and hills that they must scale But they know they'll make it Cause they just can't fail On Dusty's Trail to get up, sir. I was just leaving. <laughs> Treasure map. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I don't know what it was, but anything that makes you move that fast, I hope you find one every day. I found a dead man. You found a, a real live dead man. Good heavens. Are you sure he was dead? He looked dead to me. Did you feel his pulse? I couldn't find any. Wait, wait, wait. Now let's stop. Calm down and start at the very beginning. Huh? Okay. <clears throat> I was born of poor but honest parents on a small farm in Pennsylvania. No, 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 no. Not you. Tell us about the dead man. I don't know where he was born. But I know where he died. You ought to see him down to skin and bones without the skin. Would you say that what you found was a skeleton? I'd be happy to say that. What I found was a skeleton. A skeleton? Is that all? Yeah, what, what's all the fuss about a skeleton? I bet he died trying to protect this treasure map. A treasure map? What? That's what it looks like to me. Hmm. You went to college, is that what Daughter. Good afternoon, Dusty. Good afternoon, Mrs. Brookhaven, Mr. Brookhaven. Won't you join us? Yes, please sit down. Oh. <laughs> you really must take tea with us, young man. You look positively starved. I always look positively starved, even after I've eaten. Just a spot of tea, then. I couldn't eat another spot. <laughs> Daphne, it's obvious why this poor lad isn't hungry. He has a problem. I do? Of course you do, dear boy. 
fortune hunters and sharpshooters and connivers of all kinds will try to separate you from your treasure map. Unless you have a business partner who's schooled in money matters. You mean like a banker? Precisely. Well, you're a banker, Mr. Brookhaven. Why don't you just... Accept it, my dear boy, accept it. <laughs> now, let's get all this down in black and white. Well, we don't need a piece of paper between us. I trust you. Oh, we trust you, too, Dusty. Thanks. But now that we're both partners, wouldn't it be splendid if we both had a copy of a map for safekeeping? Now, why didn't I think of that? I guess that's why you're a businessman. Exactly, my dear boy. Exactly. You hold the map and I'll copy. See? Yeah. yeah. There it is. In your eyes, Dusty, they say so much. In your hair. In your muscles. I think it's in the other arm. Dusty, I'd like to make a man-to-man -man proposition. Okay, but I don't think you're built for it. I'm talking about a partnership. The two of us. Why, we'll open the biggest, brightest, gold, dangest dance hall in all of Frisco. I don't know how to run a dance hall. But I'll personally teach you everything you need to know. Okay, partners, I'll go draw you a match. <laughs> Do you really mean it? Of course I mean it. We're partners. Oh, that's great. Because that treasure can really do wonders for this new land. Like what? You and I can dam rivers for irrigation, clear the land for cities, build a railroad from coast to coast. What do you think of that? I don't know. It seems like a lot of work for just two guys. <laughs> there. Good as new. Mm, thanks, Betsy. There isn't anything I wouldn't do for you, Dusty. Or the children. Children? I don't remember proposing. Not ours, Dusty. I'm talking about the children out west who need an education. Gee, with your treasure, you could build the finest school, hire the best teachers, buy the best books. Sounds like a great school. Could I go? Of course. And could I hire you to be the teacher? Well, sure. And can I be in your class? First row, first seat. Okay, teach. You got yourself a bunch of schools. <laughs> Callahan, mm. this is for you. Hey, hold on here a minute. That's a copy of your treasure map. Yeah, I want to make you my partner. Well, that's very generous of you, Dusty, but uh, you found the treasure. It's yours. It's all yours. Yeah, but I want you to be my partner, too. Well, thanks again, but what do you mean, too? Oh, I was having tea with Mr. and Mrs. Brookhaven. He's I, a... You didn't make them partners in your treasure. I didn't? I thought I did. <laughs> I better have a talk with him and unpartner you. What about Lulu? Well, what about Lulu? Hey, don't tell me you made her a partner, too. Okay, I won't tell you, but I did. Oh, no. We were having a man-to-man -man talk, and it seems like a good idea at the time. Uh, you got any more partners? Nope, except for Betsy and Andy. Betsy and... Uh, who else? Nobody, except you, and you don't want to be a partner. Dusty, don't you know what happens to people when they hear the word treasure? Well, they get greedy. They might try to take your treasure away from you. But they're my friends. They wouldn't cheat me. Maybe yes, maybe no. I got a hunch no could be bigger than yes. Well, it's deceitful, underhanded, and downright dishonest. You see, I told you it was the right thing. <laughs> Lulu? Lulu? I wonder if anything happened to her. Mm. Dusty, mm. I'm too excited. 
ready to sleep. Go to sleep. Now I keep thinking about the treasure. Let's go find it. Mm. Mm. Okay. I'll find it for both of us. Partners going to business for themselves. Mm. Hey, come on, wake up, little pal. Mm. <laughs> uh huh. Treasure map. Yeah, you just keep sleeping, little pal. I'll go get that treasure before they do, and it'll be all yours. Everybody. Mr. Callahan? Betsy? Lulu? <laughs> anybody? Is anybody around here? <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Callahan, say that, that when you're facing wild animals, you're supposed to play dead. Here away from camp. Uh, I was thirsty. What about you? I was looking for the treasure, too. <laughs> you seem to be birds of a feather. Well, Dusty and I plan to use that treasure for a very worthy cause. Well, so do I. I plan to build a great, big, beautiful dance hall to brighten up the lives of lonely old men. That's a worthy cause? It is for lonely old men. <laughs> I've got to find Mr. Callahan in time about Dusty. 
It's been killed by a bear. Oh, no. It's... And none of us were there to help him. Girls, you go find Mr. Callahan. I'm going back to camp. Well, where do we look? Uh, you go this way and I'll go that way. <laughs> This is ridiculous. There's nothing ridiculous about money. But I'm tired. Keep saying to yourself, money, money, money. It, it gives you strength. Brookhaze. Mrs. Brookhaze, what's wrong, my dear? I have some terrible news. Don't tell me the stock market's crashed. It's Dusty. He's been killed by a bear. Come, my dear. We'll return immediately to the camp. Come along. Ah, uh, see now, six, yeah, six large steps west. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there you are. Got bad news for you about Dusty. Oh, it's terrible. There was this big bear and poor Dusty. How bad is it? Bad as it can be. Yeah, well, maybe it's not too late. Maybe we can still help him, huh? Here. Here. Come on, Callahan. <laughs> Yeah, well, maybe some people from another wagon train buried him. Or some prospectors. Yeah. Rather sloppy, whoever they were. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, I'm glad they took care of my little pal. Hmm. Ah. Well, let's go get the women, get this over with. <laughs> Well, I ain't very good at this sort of thing. But I got a few words I'd like to say. I'm the only one that's to blame for what happened to Dusty. If I hadn't have been so worried about who's going to get the treasure, my little pal would still be alive. Oh, I used to holler at him a lot when he'd do stupid things. It, well, I don't mean I... I'm sorry it's stupid. I mean, I'm sorry I hollered. Anyway, Dusty, wherever you are, I hope you can hear me and that you forgive me. I've never known anybody that was nicer or sweeter. He wanted to go to school. He would have been my favorite pupil. Even if he didn't learn anything. We let the treasure blind us. We allowed pure greed to send us into the woods when we were needed here. It isn't much, Dusty, but when we get to California, I will build a monument to your eternal memory, which will be called appropriately the Carter Brookhaven Memorial. Dusty. The, the Carter Brookhaven Dusty Memorial. <laughs> Dusty, I, you were so different from all the men I've ever known. They were always fresh. And you were always shy. They were always suave and sophisticated, handsome and witty. And you were always <sighs> dusty. Dusty, I know you can't hear me. <clears throat> but I know you can hear this. You were a good and honest man, and I'm truly sorry. Oh, Dusty, if you could only come back to us. <gasps> I'm coming back. <laughs> uh, Dusty, wherever you are now, I, I know you'll rest in comfort. <clears throat> Thank you.
Mr. Callahan? Mr. Callahan! Hiya. You surprised to see me? <laughs> Is that you? Yeah, it's me. Really? Yeah. Uh, uh, hey, tell me. How's it up there? Uh, kind of chilly. All I got is the sheep. Just a hang of it, Mr. Callahan. Yeah, uh, don't say a word. I just want to remember you like you were. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We, we'll be riding through those pearly gates side by side again. Mr. Callahan? That's what you said last night. Last night? Was that really you? I mean, this really you? Yeah, cross my heart. I mean, heart you're not dead. Cross my heart. Hey! Yeah. Hey! Dusty's alive! My little pal's alive! <laughs> yeah, Mr. Callahan, that was a beautiful funeral. Funeral? You heard that? Why'd you let us go on with all that slop without saying something? Well, it was so beautiful, I wished I was dead. Hey, hey everybody! Come out! Dusty's alive! Hey, come here! <laughs> my little pal's alive! He's alive! I tell you, you have these two <laughs> Oh, I'm ecstatic, aren't you, Carter? Overjoyed, my boy. You're welcome back. Wait a minute. The grave. Who sent her there? Nobody. That's my clothes. You see, I ran into this skunk. A skunk? Say no more. Say no more, Dusty. Well, I better get dressed, you know. We got to find that treasure. We're all partners. How do you like that little guy, huh? After all that's happened, he still wants you all to be his partners. <laughs> I found the treasure. I found the treasure. Treasure! Treasure! What is it? What is it? How do you like that? Treasure is a town and a map just shows us how to get there. There goes my dance hall. My school. My damn. My word. Suppose you're all mad at me. Hey, nobody's mad at you, little pal. But well, we didn't find a treasure. Uh, you're wrong. We may have found the greatest treasure of them all. What? I'll explain it to you when you're older. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, come on, Dusty Boy. We've got to get rolling. Uh, wait a minute, Mr. Callahan. I figure I dig up my clothes. Uh, maybe the smell's gone by now. Uh, no, skunk spray stays forever. 